we see a whole host of interesting and strange discoveries with each passing day. As science constantly advances and researchers continue to draw closer to the answers they may be looking for, our world becomes a little more peculiar and a little more fascinating as we begin to understand more about it. From the busiest cities to the most remote continents, there is an abundance of research opportunities. Sometimes the most scientifically active places are the ones you may least expect. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three interesting discoveries from tucked away locations. Lost continents beneath Antarctica and veiled in old satellite. Sometimes the newest discoveries can come from the most unlikely places. A satellite that is no longer in use was able to point researchers towards ancient continents that were yet to be discovered. This was after old data underwent a new analysis. The Gravity Field and Steady State Ocean Circulation Explorer, or GOCE, mission's data was analyzed again in 2018 nine years after its initial launch. The second look over this data has shown cratons in the lithosphere. This essentially means that in between the mantle and crust of Earth, there are some rocky areas that we had not guessed were there. Scientists seem to believe that the cratons or rocky areas that have been found are leftover structures that had formed ancient continents, and further research into them could provide an insight into how the continents we know today are composed. An official statement made from those involved in the study at the European Space Agency explained the potential for a modern application of this research and how it may particularly aid our understanding of Antarctica due to its close proximity. The co-author of the research paper, Fausto Faraccioli, and science leader of geology and geophysics at the British Antarctic Survey described Antarctica's composition as an exciting mosaic of geological features. He goes on to explain that throughout East Antarctica, there is an observable array of similarities that can be seen in the Antarctic crust and the crust of the continents it was once joined to 160 million years ago. The GOCE satellite was in orbit between March 2009 and November 2013 before it was declared not working. Satellites are built to have a short lifespan at the moment, between 5 and 15 years, as designing them with longevity in mind is a complex task, due to the inconsistency in solar arrays or simply running out of fuel. When active, GOCE was built to observe changes, fluctuations and variations in the gravity on Earth, no matter how minuscule they may have appeared. The data collected produced a worldwide global gravity map. It also revealed that there were local changes in gravity with a small resolution of 80 kilometers. The new analyses unearthed the ancient continents when a map of shape indexes was created by researchers at the British Antarctic Survey and Kiel University. When making this research more accessible, the European Space Agency compared the space indexes to contours you might see on a map. Jörg Ebbing, a geophysicist working with Kiel University in Germany, elaborated on the necessity of looking at both the gravitational data and the seismological data simultaneously in order to ensure more consistency and accuracy when producing images of both the crust and upper mantle of the Earth. Creating these images and 3D modeling is necessary for researchers to do if they want to understand the mechanics behind how plate tectonics and the deep mantle interact. The next step in this research is to see how the ancient continents are impacting modern-day Antarctica and how climate change could affect these ancient continents in their dormant state. Researchers hope the gravity gradients which have been freshly scoured through can help find some answers. The discovery of ancient continents and gravitational variations is certainly not a simplistic field of study, but one with great promise and an exciting future ahead of it. Penguin poop is so pink it can be seen from space. Everyone's favorite animal at the zoo, the beloved flightless bird, the penguin, could be ditching its classic monochrome look. Mixing up the characteristic black and white feathered color scheme is the news that their poo is pink, so much so that it can be seen from space. There are four penguin species in Antarctica that live and breed on the continent. A daily, chinstrap, emperor, and gen two. Though the Adelie penguins seem to have one fairly distinct trait, their poo. 
Adelie penguins love to feed on krill and small crustaceans, which are pink. With so much of the Adelie diet being krill, their excrement, or technically speaking their guano, turns a pink-red color. This rather vibrant hue then stains the ground, the penguins themselves, and a great deal of any surroundings. Though their stain-worthy droppings have proved relatively useful scientifically speaking. The Adelie guano can be seen from space, and the distinctive pink tone is picked up and seen on satellite imagery where individual penguins are not. Many scientists are aiming to count the Adelie and gain a rough understanding of their population, though with some rather remote homelands, this can be a difficult task to say the least. Satellite imagery is unable to show us each individual penguin, but where they have been, there is a telltale pink stain on the landscape. Heather Lynch, an ecology professor at Stony Brook University, spoke at the American Geophysical Union conference in which she explained that the area the guano stains cover allows them to estimate how many Adelie penguins were in that specific area. This new technique has allowed teams like Lynch's to uncover entire colonies of Adelie penguins. One group, in Danger Islands, was found reaching 1.5 million penguins that had not been counted towards the Adelie population yet. Now, researchers are retracing a daily history, aiming to track fluctuations in their population throughout time in the Antarctic. It is hoped that this monitoring of the Adelie penguins will prove useful in assessing the condition of the Antarctic environment overall. The Adelie specifically breed on exposed, rocky land, but hang out on the icy surfaces to live. This means the behaviour and movement of a daily can inform us of both terrains and warn us and other species if any changes to either one of these environments becomes hazardous. Since 1990, the Adelie penguin population appears to have decreased, though researchers are not entirely sure why. They do know, however, that it is important to protect this species. One aspect could be the change in diet. Over time, the colour of the guano has varied slightly. A colour analysis on the guano can reveal the health of the species overall, particularly how they are responding to climate change and the looming habitat loss. As strange as it sounds, the colourful poop of these flightless birds is helping protect the species, and more and more daily penguins are being discovered with each satellite image that is being examined. Lava Lake is discovered on Sub-Antarctic Island the July of 2019 saw the uncovering of a lava lake on the remote Saunders Island, and despite there being approximately 1,500 volcanoes on Earth, Mount Michael on Saunders Island is only the eighth in the world to be confirmed as having a lava lake. The discovery of the volcano was reported in the journal entitled Volcanology and Geothermal Research in early July 2019. This was the first volcano with a lava lake to have been identified in the remote series of South Sandwich Islands. This finding was made using satellite imagery. In 2001, low-resolution satellite data proved to have an anomalous result in it, but the low-resolution and limited frame rate could not prove that there was a lava lake on Saunders Island. With more advanced technology capturing shots more frequently and at higher resolutions, Images collected between 2003 and 2018 have uncovered the lava lake, spanning 90 to 215 meters in diameter, with the lava hitting the soaring temperatures of 1,279 degrees Celsius. Whilst the stereotypical image of volcanoes spewing out lava is not inaccurate, there is often lava when they erupt. The pools of molten rock these form is usually only temporary. After the eruption, within a matter of days or weeks, this liquid lava pool will dry into solid rock. Mount Michael, along with the volcanoes of Nyira Gonga in the Democratic Republic of Congo, Erta Ale in Ethiopia, Mount Erebus beside the Ross Sea, Mount Yasur in Vanuatu, Ambrim in Banatum Kilauea in Hawaii, and the Messiah Caldera in Nekawagua are the only volcanoes in the world known to always have lava bubbling away inside. This geological discovery is made all the more exciting by the inaccessible nature of Saunders Island. Very few researchers have visited this volcano, and none have ever reached the summit. Mount Michael is a fascinating, thrilling discovery, and without the high-resolution, high-quality satellite imagery, we perhaps never would have uncovered the world's eighth lava lake. Dr. Alex Burton-Johnson 
from the British Antarctic Survey commented, We are delighted to have discovered such a remarkable geological feature in the British Overseas Territory. He elaborated, explaining that the increased understanding of the volcanic activity within Mount Michael had the potential to tell us about similar features elsewhere. Additionally, the discovery of Mount Michael proves we are able to monitor volcanoes from space. The development of space technology is advantageous from many angles and perspectives, including here on Earth. These quiet areas, from Antarctic penguin droppings to remote island lava to ancient continents, are all home to an abundance of research opportunities. The discoveries that have been made bring us one step closer to the ones that will come next. But what do you make of these three interesting discoveries from around the world? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.